Introduced in Minecraft 1.20, the torch flower is not quite like any other flower in the game. Today, we're going to take a look at everything you need to know about the torch flower. Obtaining a torch flower is not the easiest thing. First of all, you need a sniffer, and they will be searching around for different kinds of seeds, as you can see right here. So we'll see what we've got here, and it is a torch flower seed, exactly what we want. Torch flower seeds can be used to breed sniffers. So you can feed one to you, feed one to you, and eventually we're going to get an egg. But that's for another video. Also, you can use it to attract chickens and breed them as well. The torch flower seed can also be used to tame parrots. And this one is being stubborn, but it will tame them. There we go. And you can also use torch flower seeds to heal sniffers. If you want to grow a torch flower, you need to make a farm. Now this is unlike other flowers. You actually need to make farmland and plant the seeds. Now this of course will take a while because there are different growth stages, but eventually it will grow up to be a torch flower. You can always speed the process up with bone meal. As you can see, we have one and two growth stages. Now that the flower is grown, if you hit it with your hand, you will get the flower itself. If you break a partially grown one, you get the seed back. Once you have the flower itself, you can plant it anywhere you like, just like that. The main use of the torch flower is to make orange dye. But of course, the torch flower gives you a lot of color, so you can have fields of this and that would look really interesting. The torch flower isn't the only flower that gives you dye. To find out how to get other dyes in Minecraft, check out the video on the left. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.